guys. I have big news for y'all. First of all, we hit 9,000 followers on Instagram, guys. That's crazy. 9,000 followers, and as I promised, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this whoosh deck right here, totem pole graphic, super, super nice deck. One of a kind, actually not really one of a kind, but still very kind of rare stacked deck. Shred sled shape, awesome deck. Boom, board rails included, why not? And then this subliminal deck that I did a review on that I really like, but I have two of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all one. Boom, right there. All of that, three winners. I don't care where you live, you're gonna win this deck even if you're international. I'm making a post on Instagram that should be up as soon as this video goes up. You need to repost that, which is very easy. Just take a little screenshot, post that picture back again on Instagram, super easy stuff, and put the hashtag chubby9k. And make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and that you follow me on Instagram. In other news, I also got a new camera, the Sony A6300, if y'all are wondering about that or even care about that in general, but the Sony A6300, um, it's a very good camera, it can do 120 frames per second at 1080p, so the slow-mo should look a ton better. Now, let's do a slow-mo test real quick. I have the settings on, let's see how good the... Little tray flip for y'all, do... let's do a little nollie flip, that was sketchy, let's do a little... No Okay, you get the point. It's gonna look better. The only issue with this camera is that the screen doesn't flip around, so it's harder for me to realize what I'm focusing on or see the shot that I'm getting. Fortunately enough, what I have here is an external monitor, aka my cell phone, which allows me to connect directly to the camera and see my shots. But guys, today, today, we have a very special unboxing. I love this guy to death. He's hooked me up with dead blocks. He's hooked me up with his bushings. This guy is amazing. CJ Williams or Dead Willy FB. I'll have his at right here. The most amazing guy ever. His products are always super quality. I tried one of his decks actually at Kelsey's house and it was amazing. The shape was great, the concave was amazing. It was just a really, really good deck. So I hit him up immediately and I was like, dude, I need to try one of these decks. They're awesome. So he went ahead and hooked it up with a custom like the good guy he is. And today we have this package, as y'all can see here. Testing the autofocus on this camera. That's pretty damn good, yeah. CJ Williams, blah, blah, blah. I think he comes from Kentucky. It took like, I don't know, like three days, two days, some some, some crazy thing like that in order to get here. Cause you know, Texas, Kentucky, it's not too far. But yeah, it came in a nice little mailer. Let's crack this thing open without hesitation. Let's get into this. Tell me how y'all are liking the picture. I know I asked uh, about which lens should I use, and now I got a new camera, so I don't even have the fisheye. Well, I do have the fisheye. I just need an adapter in order to use it. Okay, let's open this thing up. Here we go. Let's just bust it straight out. It looks like we got the deck. Is there anything else in here? This feels like such a girthy package. That's a weird word to use, girthy. But it feels like such a sturdy, girthy package. But there's a, it's, it's just a padded mailer. Anywho. Here we go, here's the deck, fresh out the bag. There it is, looking all sexual like. This is his uh, Jason graphic. On here, we see his little packaging, real simple, real clean with his little logo. Thanks, Chubbs, I hope you enjoy this DD. That's how he calls dead decks. Love what you do, my dude. And he spelled dude with uh, two O's. What, no, did he put duty? He put duty, how cute. <laughs> 34.1 millimeters by 97 millimeters long, which is a wonderful length. It's a little bit shorter than I normally like. Let's get into this. And guys, by the way, if you're wondering why I keep looking over here, it's because this is where I have my cell phone. So that's the only way I see if the image is focused. I have to, I have to look over here. I'll find a better place for it eventually. Uh, eventually. Awesome. Looks like a standard piece of tape. Not too great, not too bad. Kind of coarse, not too smooth, but it is a solid piece of tape. Might throw some FBS on there. So that's my favorite tape. Shout out to Fingerboard Store. Shout out to, uh, what, what's her name? I forgot, Katha. Yeah, shout out to Katha for making the best tape in the game. So many stickers, oh my goodness. Small vinyls, different 
crazy stickers. I love FB. Not even relating to him, but they're just awesome. Dead Willy. Tons of them. Oh, this one's pretty cool, too. It's like a little alien spaceship thing. That's awesome. Here's the deck. Ooh, it looks so good. Wow, this deck looks good. Here's the Jason graphic. I always thought his graphics on his decks looked a little grainy on Instagram, but I guess that was just Instagram making it look that way because this looks so perfectly applied. No graininess whatsoever. And this is a real wear graphic, and that's something that's difficult to do, make a good looking real wear graphic. And that's exactly what he did. Shout out to Stay Tuned FB for making these awesome graphics for Dead Willy. Always, always coming out with some more heat with his graphics. And then here's on the top ply, little bluish tint natural ply with his signature skull and crossbones on top. Very nice looking shape. Very, very good looking shape. Nice and medium high kicks with lower medium concave. Perfectly blended in. And man, this shaping is one of the squarest I've ever seen. Similar to Runa, actually, with how square that is. But I'm excited to try how that is on like ledges and rails, the pop. And that's a good amount of pop. Wow. I'm slapping on these black base BRTs from this old Ravi Sauce deck. And I already got the red tuning. And I'm going to put these red dual Duros on here, too. So this setup's about to look fire, guys. I'm going to set this up right now. And we'll do a performance review over it. This thing is about to be fire. I'm excited. Let's get into it. I set up the deck. I was having a bit of trouble with the grip. I don't know why, but this FBS was giving me some hard times. I accidentally applied it wrong. You probably can't even see it, but I applied it wrong, peeled it up, and I ended up tearing the grip. So it's kind of like a franking grip job down here. And of course, my grip jobs are just overall terrible in general, but I haven't done one of these reviews where I just go in cold and try a trick. I always try tricks and then I do a review over it. And then on top, I put this little vinyl in the middle in order to do like a little grip gap thing. That's my only complaint with the deck and I haven't even used it yet. My only complaint is that the thing that you put on the top ply isn't all that great. It's cool that it's like your signature thing, but like I'm a guy who's a big fan of grip gaps like Idol or uh, Collier where they have it a little bit past the bolts. It allows you to be able to have a nice little grip gap that shows you what's your nose and what's your tail. I kind of had to make my own here, but we still did it good. Just a suggestion, you don't have to do it, but uh, that's just a preference of mine. So, let's get into this thing. Let's do some tricks. I've already used this deck a little bit at Kelsey's, but like not this one specifically. So, let's get into this thing. Let's try, always gotta start with a kickflip test. Always gotta start with a kickflip test. All right, we missed it. <laughs> okay, that feels pretty good. Let's try a tray flip. Tray flip was kind of hot. Oh yeah, that feels really good. Let's try a nolly flip. Ooh. Okay. Let's try a nolly tray. Ooh, I missed that. It's in a minute. So, there it is. Laser flip, maybe? Okay, laser flips are... Laser flips are on check, actually. Tray flips feel really good on this deck, but I usually say that about every deck. Nolly feels a little weird. Feels really solid. Feels extremely solid. A little bit more heaviness to it than other decks that I've tried. It's got a little bit of weight to it. And that takes a little getting used to. But it feels real good. Let's try the Nolly Heel test. All you gotta do is Nolly Heel test. Find Nolly Heel, first try. You have to like this video. It's a requirement. No questions asked. You have to like this video. Nolly Heel first try. Here we go. I thought I had that. <laughs> I really did thought I had that. Oh, now I can't land it. This is back to my o box. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. That was a really clean Nolly heel too. What do I think about this deck? This deck feels super good. Like extremely solid shape, really well rounded. Not the lightest deck in the world, but I know some of y'all really like those decks that have a little bit of weight to them because they feel a little bit more realistic, not like you're just flicking around a toothpick. But it feels extremely good. Now that I'm getting dialed into it, 
when I first try any deck, I usually don't ha care for it all that much. As I start to get used to it, adapt to it, and feel for the tricks, they usually feel pretty good. This has a lot of good pop. It rotates like a dream. Yeah, hard flips are pretty good on this thing too. It feels like an extremely solid deck. I definitely want to make an edit with this thing because it feels really good. I'm really liking this concave and these kicks. The nose kick I thought was going to be a little bit too high, but as I'm adjusting to it, it makes it feel like Nolly heels are just easy. Yo, this thing, I really like high noses. Let me get some real wear tests in here. Let me see how good this real wear is. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can already see it start to wear in a little bit. But as you can see, the graphics already starting to scuff up a little bit, but it's like at a nice rate. Like I don't want my graphic to wear in too quickly. I want it to have like a real wear type thing. That's really good. That's actually extremely good real wear. It's not just like a normal paper graphic. This is actually like high quality stuff. So yeah, guys, let's go over the pros real quick. Pros, great graphics, great customization. The shape is great. The rounding is great. The nose is awesome. I love the high kicks. Everything about this deck. My only gripes are the top ply with the whatever the skull and crossbones on top. I think you should have something a little bit above the bolts, like a little like stamp or some kind of painted thing. I don't know. Make it original. Do your little WFB. That would look cool. I think that would look really cool. I'm doing a little vinyl sticker, kind of getting at that. But the shape is solid. The only gripe that I have other than that is that the sides are a little thick. Like it's a little bit thicker than the normal deck I try, which makes it seem a little bit heavier. But it's still a really great deck. Whatever mold this is, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. This deck is great, dude. This deck is insanely, insanely good. And I really like the shape on here. This is definitely going to become one of my mains right next to the Collier, dude. Because this is a great shape. Let me see if I can get a Nolly laser for the for the last clip before we, uh, before we end this video. Ooh, let's see. Uh, sketchy, but I'm counting it because it's second try and why the hell not, guys. Slap a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Tell me if you guys like the new quality and the slow-mo and all of that. Make sure to re-watch the beginning of this video to see how to enter the giveaway. Thank y'all for watching this video. Hope y'all have a great day.